Good evening everyone, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in tonight's video I wanted to start with Apple. I start with Apple because I used Apple in Thursday night's free video and I was looking at the idea of buying basically in this vicinity there near the 50 and 100 day moving averages. As I was learning to take this type of information and basically doing the same thing you are where you're looking at a piece of advice coming into it the next day and saying how can I take advantage of this for myself to make money. The first thing you have to acknowledge is that I have no idea where Apple is going to open the next day. When we come in and we start breaking these levels of support you don't want to come in and just force the idea of saying, all right, let's buy it. It's the idea that if we come down into those areas of support and hold, well, then you want to start looking at that idea. But Apple never really did much of holding a bid this morning and continued to sell off, so we're never triggered into that trade. Now, what's interesting is that we are right down into the 200-day moving average, and you can also see I like using the 34 on the weekly, so this is just how I use moving averages to try and gauge the wave that you're participating in um, just in the general trend of the market so I'm using this as a general area to think that Apple will hold support and then I'd like to see that the 200 day also holds up as well now when you look at this and as I said you know I avoided it at the beginning of the day but then as you look at it as we progress into the end of the session this is more the way you want to be able to think to say okay these first levels aren't holding is there something I can do with it down there at the 200 day moving average. <clears throat> the reason why I like pointing this out here also is because you have a very clean way of looking at the idea that you would want to sell premium in this series and then buy premium in this series. Of course going out a little bit further you'll have the you know going out further in time this will hold on to its time value a little bit better but the real reason why you're doing that is because this is the series that will revolve around earnings so you try to sell some in this case I've done a ratio spread assuming that Apple does not drop below 160 so you know a pretty conservative way of playing that and then that small amount of positive decay will help me pick up some calls in a further dated in the earnings series so that did not play out the way I was looking for it to at the beginning of the session, but I think there is still opportunity, and if you can adapt to that on the fly, it will be helpful. A couple other charts that I wanted to point to if you have been following these uh, nightly free videos. We've also been looking at when, and this has been about as good as I could possibly ask for. So it's a very similar situation. You've got the squeeze that's ahead of earnings, and typically this provides good bullish momentum. Um, I have taken profits on this, but we covered this setup while it was in formation, and it gave us some really excellent results. Another place that we are already involved, but I don't think the move is over, is first solar. Now, I would prefer to not have to hold my shares back down here into a gap fill, but I will if I have to, because of the weekly squeeze. Notice the signal that you got off the daily chart where we consolidate and then you have these two bars that show the movement that you're looking for from this signal. Okay, the daily has played out as good as I could ask for. Now we need to see if the weekly can reciprocate. So those two have been playing out very nicely and I think First Solar is worth holding on to. As far as a couple other names that I would have you keep on your watch list, kind of in the same way of thinking, um, I think Boeing has some potential as we get into a, next week. Now, and we'll cover this more in the premium video when we really get into the weekly analysis, but, um, you know, the Dow doesn't look great, but I think Boeing could hold on into earnings. So if Boeing looks okay on Monday's open, think about maybe picking up some calls into the earnings report, not through the earnings report, but just, you know, until about the day before, and I think there's a trade involved there. One other that I have also been adding to and building up my share position in is in Bizun. Um, you could definitely trade the options here too. I'm going to try to time my options entry about two weeks prior to this earnings report once the earnings date is confirmed. And in the meantime, I'm going to work on building up into, uh, for me, you know, about a thousand shares, give or take. And then look for this daily squeeze to resolve no different than those others have. So I hope that's helpful and gives you a couple of things to consider as you get ready for your next trading day. And we will see you at the next free video.